One thing I can say about this show is that it may be stupid, but it is authentic. Let's talk about it. Y'all, did you get into Krishan Rock episode four? It's complicated. I did, and let me tell you something. Wow, wow, wow. The hypocrisy, it's the hypocrisy for me. It's the absolute hypocrisy for me. How is it that Blueface is the one that gets hit by Krishan? Okay, she gets he he gets hit by Krishan in the back with glass. He is bleeding. He needs stitches from the glass that Krishan broke on his head. That's right, broke on his head. Okay, can you imagine if that was the other way around? Like, just imagine for a second, right? That would be a whole different situation. It wouldn't have been all cool and buddy buddy and he he ooh you know the crew kind of laughing the crew whatever she's sitting over there he he ha ha no but what had happened was if it was Krishan with the glass in the back of her head the police would have been called and Blueface would have gone to jail. But it's just the freaking it's the double standard for me and let me say something. <clears throat> Blueface was kind of right in that situation where he opened the car door when she was like, no, I'll close it. No, I'll close it. He's like, no, I want people to see what you did. I want people to see what you did. And she had no explanation as to why he had the gash and why he hit her or why she hit him across the head. Like, seriously, there was no explanation other than there was none. There was no, absolutely no explanation. And when they sat on the couch, she had nothing to say and she wanted to move on. She just wanted to move on. She's like, oh, I, why are we going to talk about it? Why are we going to talk about it, man? We just, <clears throat> we just got to, bro, I don't want to talk about it. Blueface is the rational person and said, why did you hit me with the glass? Why did you hit me with the glass? And he's like, well, <clears throat> like, it was just, she's not coherent. She's, she's really not coherent. She's geeked up, like seriously, geeked up throughout this entire thing. Not even geeked up, stoned, just, I don't know what it is, but just like she, one eye over here, one eye over there, her makeup a mess. Like it's giving like, what is it? Like, girl, you look rough. Krishan, you look rough as fuck. Blueface had a point. It's like, do you want to be a dude or you want to be a bitch? Like which one? You want to be a nigga or a bitch? Because you can't be both. You can't switch up and decide. If you're going to be a bitch, you need to talk to me like a bitch. You don't need to talk to me like a nigga. If we're going to go back and forth, like, I don't like dudes. Like, if I want to date a dude, I would date a dude. I want a woman. But you sitting up here trying to fight me like a dude. Like a fucking dude. And it's like, I kind of understand. Like, Krishan, like, the shit you do and the shit you say to people especially dudes, will get you fucked up in these streets for real if you were a dude, for real, right? Right? Because Krishan, let's be real talk. You can play tough and, oh, Krishan, Krishan hard, Krishan hard. But at the end of the day, you can always just go ahead and cry and the world is going to give you this sympathy or whatever. Like, you literally get the best of both worlds. And, you know, I don't know what it's going to take. I mean, clearly it's probably going to take the law, the law to get involved. I mean, clearly, I mean, I don't know. The law clearly gets involved with Blueface. I was surprised Whack 100 came on the episode. Whack 100, um, I'm on Clubhouse. I don't know um, if you, he's always on Clubhouse, Whack 100 doing rooms. And I was just like, oh, it was cool to see a face to the name, but he was very logical and was trying to sit and talk to Krishan about the situation and say, and try to reason with her. And she didn't want to hear it. Bro, I don't even know why it's like talking to her. Like it, talking to her is like literally, it's honestly like talking to a child. Like for real, like she, she doesn't have adult conversation. I literally had to sit and put this thing on fucking subtitles, subtitles just to understand what the fuck this bitch was saying. Like it's the mumbling for me. And a lot of the times, the subtitles couldn't even get it right. It was inaudible, inaudible. For all them hoes, it's what someone's mumbling. They need to tell them hoes to speak up. Because we can't understand what the fuck you saying. Like, seriously, like, it's really inaudible. <clears throat> and the beginning of the episode, to her freaking assistant. Her assistant, oh my God, is the freaking yes man. Or the stylist slash friend. It's basically just her yes man. Her yes punk, walking around, doing her hair, doing her little stuff all the time, her servant, and just, 
Uh huh. Everything she says, smoking weed, smoking blunts. As soon as you get out the courtroom, smoking a blunt. As soon as you get in the thing, smoking a blunt. You're all about blunts. Everybody's about blunts all the time. Blunt, 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 blunt. Like I'm just like, oh my god, the blunts. But anyway, back to Wack 100 and her. So Wack 100 tries to reason with Krishan. It goes nowhere. But previously, before that, he tries to reason with Blueface, who is the more reasonable one, who was more rational. And he says, you know. Blueface, I need you to come to the studio and do some beats tonight and don't bring that gutter snipe bitch. Not those languages. He didn't say gutter snipe bitch, but don't bring Krishan, okay? He, you know, is this half hearty thing. That's what he actually ends up bringing Krishan. But he's giving good advice to Blueface. He's like, dude, you haven't released a song in since yesteryear. You need to release shit because you're going down and Krishan's going up. And like I said before, I don't know anything besides Tatiana. Tatiana. That's it. Now, I noticed they have his songs, you know, in, in, when they do those long interludes, scenic scenes for 30 seconds. You know, honestly, they be taking a long ass time with those interludes for 30 seconds. Like, seriously, I don't need to see the skyline for that long. Woo, Zeus be filling up them time slots. Filling up them time slots. But anyway, so we hear his music during that time. So hopefully, you know, for him, it'll pop off in that regard. But I don't see him on the charts. And that's because he's going around and fucking with that crazy uh, snaggletooth bitch. He needs to leave her. But he likes the toxicity. He's at the end of, he's at the end of the episode saying, I love her. I love her. He likes this shit. This is just a toxic relationship. Just a toxic, toxic toxic relationship honestly and i think what krishan really likes about blueface is the fact that he doesn't back down to her you know what i mean like <clears throat> she when he said when she said i don't want to talk about this close the car door close the car door he didn't close the car door he's like a bitch don't tell me what to do i don't take orders from no bitch and i was like oh shit and that's why she likes him because a lot of these bitches be running over these dudes, and it's like, the dudes don't want to do anything. And then the, the girls, like, lose respect. And it's like, no, nah, when a bitch does that, you got to let her know sometimes, like, yo, I'm the man, and the women like that shit. And Blueface is using that, and that's why Krishan keeps running back. But she's probably digmatized, too. I mean, let's be real talk. Blueface looked like he can put it down real good. He got, he got good dick. I heard it's big. I haven't seen it. Um, but I mean, blue face, very charming, a very charming man, <clears throat> very good looking, just very rational gaslighter, but rational. But I'm going to tell you something like blue face. I think for the sake of your career, you need, okay. You need to stay on this Krishan train for a little bit longer. Um, and perhaps while this is going on, release music release music and see what sticks get you some hits get you some top tens get some good features and if that pops off and you have your own notoriety uh besides her you know then break it off with that bitch and then do your own thing but whatever you do whatever 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 you do do not have a baby by that bitch do not have a baby by that bitch do not have a baby by that bitch you know what you can marry her, marry her. That, that's a good, you can do that. That's fine. And let me, I think you're gonna, <clears throat> I think that's what's gonna end up happening. Because that, because at this point, they're a brand. They're a relationship. They're a whole thing. So I think that Zeus, I could see them getting married and Zeus documenting the marriage. The whole wedding, the whole drama, everything. And then just milking this, milking this. At least that would be, Blueface, that's what you should do. Milk this for as long as you can and get your fame and notoriety because everybody know who Blueface and Krishan be. I don't know how, you know, Blueface, you would be on, as a name by on your own. I don't know. I don't know yet. So get your, get your, you know, status shit up away from her. <clears throat> and then when you got that, break it off away from her. Um, yeah, because... Ooh, she, she, mm -mm, there's something wrong with her. There's something like seriously, like 
really wrong with her. Like, she talks to herself in mirrors. Like, guys, I would show you clips, but Zeus will take people's shit down for copyright. Like, Zeus really be playing in people's face with this copyright shit. Like, I can't, like, oh, I wish I could show you guys some clips. But the bitch is nuts. The bitch is nuts. Get you some new weed. This whole thing is just too long. You always pulling it around and... Get some new weave. Get something better. I mean, you're a pretty girl, but you always look... You just look rough. Because, you know what? Because you fighting every goddamn body all the motherfucking time. That's true. I forgot about that. You a fighter. It's all brand for you, girl. The the pigtails with the braids, the snaggle tooth. It's a brand for you at this point. Okay, which I, I understand. But, girl, at least... I don't know. Makeup or just something like... I don't know, like an English coach. Maybe somebody that can help you enunciate your words and speak up. Like, oh, I need you to be more articulate and take things more seriously. Like, you literally, like, she's like, I feel like she's emotionally stunted at, like, middle school or something. Like, I don't, like, it's literally, like, girl. She acts so immature and people just baby her, baby her, baby her. This situation is not going to end well. It's not going to end well. Like, and Zeus is just milking it for all it's worth. Milking it for all it's worth. Did you see, I think about a week ago, I was scrolling on the neighborhood talk and it came up that Zeus was the fifth most popular streaming service on the app store. <clears throat> like the fifth one, like it was crazy. I was like, wow. And then someone on the comments was like, oh, people love seeing black people be toxic. <laughs> and I was just like, oh shit. Low key true. I'm sure Lemmy Plummer is is getting the money, getting the bag, everything. And Baddies West about to premiere this month. Like it's really a situation. Oh, by the way, did you see on Instagram freaking Bobby Lights like freaking shoving the cab down his throat? It was on the neighborhood talk. I posted a YouTube short about that. Like I'm just like, oh my god. Like, ugh. Grishon, don't be that bad of a look. Like, don't be that bad of a look. But then again, Blueface did put you on camera taking a shit. I, I don't know. You you and Bobby Light's kind of one for one, but I feel like you kind of get away with it more because I don't know. But ooh, like Gab Grishad. Grishad just <laughs> I wonder what she smells like. <laughs> I'm serious. What is she? Does she stink? I wonder if she stinks. <laughs> she looks like she stinks. Blueface looked like he smelled good. I don't think Blueface would fuck with a girl that stinks. So I'm gonna assume that she smells good. Uh, I mean, she all. I would hope so. Cause she always wearing those tight ass, high ass shorts. I'm, I'm hoping that pussy is fresh. You know, I'm, I'm really hoping, you know, it's just, it's a lot of shit going on in this fucking show, in this, in this whole season. The next episode looks really, really, really good as well. Like, there's just, oh, <laughs> there's a fight that's going to break out next episode between, I don't know if that, if the dude, did you see at the end, the, when they did the preview, there was a dude talking with uh, Blueface's mom and sister, like, standing up, whatever, and then Blueface and him start going at it. Like, I don't know who that was. Was that... Like his brother, like I, I, I honestly, I have, I have no idea. Like that, that's gonna be interesting to see. We, we finally get to see Blueface. I mean, I've never seen Blueface fight, and besides when uh, he beat up the dad, but we're finally getting to see Blueface in action, like for real, for real, for real. It's the authenticity for me. Okay, it's just the sheer authenticity of this show. They're so authentic. Like remember when um Blueface they got in the studio and he's talking to the producer saying, "Oh, we should throw a party. It'll be good for drama and shit." And and Prashant's like, "No, let's not throw a party. Let's let's not throw a party. I don't want to party. I don't want to. And they show that shit. I mean, at least you know they're being authentic. We as the audience know these shows are very contrived and you know manipulated or whatever. But you know it's like so it's good to like we kind of just see the process. You know what I'm saying? but I really appreciate that like the first 15 minutes of this episode was trash but after that we get into the, these real authentic moments that are toxic that are a horrible display but hey people want to watch this shit but I want to know what you guys think and this is the video the YouTube algorithm thinks you should watch next